Today, we're going to make some crap explode in Photoshop. And what is up, guys? I'm Jason Olsred, and this is a tutorial on a Tuesday. Now, today I have a very special tutorial of showing you how I make crap explode in Photoshop. And the reason I'm doing this is because I just did a family portrait that required me to make a drone explode within the portrait with fire and smoke and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to show you how I did that. And that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, so here we are in Photoshop and I did this explosion process for a portrait that I'm working on that I can't reveal yet. So I'm going to use the thumbnail for YouTube here to show you how I create this explosion, this drone exploding in midair. All right, so first let's go over to the drone and pull our drone into the scene here, right there. And then I'm just gonna lay it right in the middle of our scene. And then let's go ahead and bring this down in size all the way down to something a little bit more realistic. It's like the drone is following me and it explodes. So we can put it up here. We can even turn it just a little bit, just like that. Bring it where the propeller is like maybe off the frame up there, just something like that. And I like that a little bit good there, <laughs> a little bit good. All right, so that is our drone right there. We can do some artwork to our drone, but I think before I do that, I want to bring in, uh, we can bring in our propeller here that blew off of the drone. Let's just bring that and it's flying down. And then let's bring it down real small here. And then we can bring it down. We want the propellers facing up to give it that downward motion feel. And then let's just go like, right here, actually we can make it where it blew off. So it's like, so it's over there. Let's just go right there. All right, so we can get rid of the drone and we can get rid of the propeller here. Good, now let's go into our flame kits here. So we've got flame, I've already selected flames here that we're gonna use. It didn't matter to me, I just chose something that looks you know, somewhat believable. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this flame over here in Photoshop. And then I'm going to shrink that flame down to something a lot more reasonable. So maybe right in there. And then I wanna bring it behind our drone right there. And then I'm gonna come up to a blend mode of screen. And then I can bring that right up there. And what we can do to make the explosion stand out just a little bit more is we can bring in our background here and actually make it dark, darker. And I'm gonna put a layer mask on that so I can kind of just paint out some areas there, just like that. So it's looking pretty good right there. And that's just to give it some separation because when you put a screen on an explosion like this on something with a back, black background and you put a screen blend mode on it, it knocks out the black background. And so if you have it against something really light, it's hard to see that separation. So I wanted to go ahead and bring in a little bit of a, a darker background so we could create some separation there. And so with our explosion now looking pretty darn good, that's look good, I like that. Um, I'm not gonna go into depth and detail of, of making that thing look perfect because I think you already know what I'm talking about there. And then I'm gonna bring my particles over here into Photoshop and then drop that right in the middle and then decrease that size. And everything's really, let's see here, decrease that size. So let's go right there. <laughs> And let's see here. Right about right there is looking good. And then again, a screen mode on that. Just gives it a little bit of a particle movement there. And then if we go in here and we zoom in, 
You can kind of see some particles there. We might even be able to bring that above uh, there. And then let's go ahead and give it a motion blur, like it's been exploding there. Let's drop that oh, dis distance there to maybe two pixels. And that's looking good. And I'm going to put a layer mask on there. And I'm just going to paint out a little bit of the particles that are overlapping the drone there because they're not going to be everywhere there. so that's looking good so let's just go right there with that about some particles right over that flame i want that flame to be a little bit more pronounced all right and then we can come in here with our let's see what we got here. so we got the flame we got this flame let's go ahead and x out of that uh, let's go ahead and X out that particle. Let's go ahead and bring in our puff of smoke here. Let's go ahead and add a screen mode onto that, blending mode. I kind of like that. And then I'm just going to drop that below everything. Um, kind of like it's falling out of the sky there. Okay. So that's looking pretty good right there. Let's go ahead and really quick work on this propeller that's falling out of the sky off of the uh, drone there. So let's come into this flame. And let's bring it over. And let me go ahead and drop that size down to 10%. So we can make it more manageable. And then I'm going to bring that all the way down. And then over, let's go ahead and put a screen mode on it. Right about there. And then, I like that right there. It's pretty good. Like it's on fire right there. And then we can bring. All right, guys. So while I am finding that other smoke file in my library, if you are finding value out of this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Also, if you want to get more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you can get the latest, greatest updates. Now, back into the tutorial. All right, so we're going to bring that smoke all the way over here. And again, we're going to bring that down to 10%, make it more manageable. And then I'm just going to bring it down. And we want that smoke to kind of emulate like it's falling out of the sky. And let's put blend mode of screen on there. And then let's drop that size down even more. We can put our center point right where we want it there and it'll shrink it down right to that. So that's looking pretty good right there. And then we can make that a little bit better by, let's go ahead and put a blur on it. So Gaussian blur. Uh, we don't want much on this, probably 1, 1. 1.1, and then we can just go with that. I think that's good right there. I like that. Uh, let's see here. And then we're going to go in and do a little bit of work on our drone just to give it uh, a little bit more of a realistic vibe here. So I'm going to come start off with our propeller here. And with our propeller, I just want to make sure I give it a black charring. Something like that. And then we can put a little bit of shaping onto that, like it's falling out of the sky. Uh, let's go ahead and just. Goodness, goodness gracious, Jason. There we go. There, right there. All right, so then we're just going to come right there. And then we're also going to add in a color dodge layer and on that color dodge layer let's go ahead and clip it to the rest of our layers we can come up here to our uh, color wheel and we can choose a nice uh, flamey orange color there and then come over here and just pop it in there that's not as flamey orangey as i wanted so something like that and then we can come up here like that 
and then we can just drop that opacity down something like that so that's looking good there you can see how I actually add some highlights into it so let's go to our drone and let's do the same thing with our drone so we can come in here and then we're just gonna go ahead and let's start with our uh, color dodge layer since we already have the brush up and everything in the color and then I'm just gonna come in here and do a nice rim on that I don't like these colors here let's see if there's anything better let's go with overlay maybe overlay would work better uh, let's change up to soft light and now I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the color dodge something just like that there it there it's pretty good and it will come down here just there hit there and that's pretty good right there and then I'm going to add another layer in of color dodge and one that I can just do more of that with a more general broad stroke thing here and then we're going to drop that opacity down that's pretty good right there and then we're going to drop that opacity down we don't want it to look too glowy flamey <laughs> and then brought bring the other one down the opacity down above there the really sharp highlights I'm going to bring those down to roughly the, I don't know, 50 to 60 range. The other one maybe down to 30, 35 range. Um, and I'll go with just that right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add another layer in underneath. This isn't really part of the tutorial, but I thought let's just hit it real quick and just give this drone a little bit of shaping since um, I would be doing that anyway for the tutorial. Or for the um, thumbnail that I'm working on. Geez, I can't talk. You can see I'm going super quick here. So if this were an actual photo that I'm working on or a portrait for a customer or something to that effect, I probably wouldn't be going this fast <laughs> um, unless I was really bored with it and tired of it. Let's go right there. And then let's just give that a quick Gaussian blur. Four point eight, and then I'm just going to drop that opacity down just to give it a little bit more depth into that drone, and I'm liking that a little bit better. Let's bring that down to thirty six range. All right, so let's all the way back out here. Just like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and give this drone a little bit of a motion blur like it's flying through the air and then let's go ahead and hit it at about three percent or three pixels and then I like to after I give it a blur what I like to do is come in here and just erase or get rid of some of that blur uh, with my brush on about 30 percent I just want to hit certain areas that are important there we go just like that so if you're looking at that uh, layer mask it's going to look something like that so I just popped around and got rid of some stuff and then I'm going to go ahead and go on this one here and we're going to give this one a blur as well a motion blur as it's flying through the air maybe give it a four pixels five pixels four pixels right there and then I'm going to come down here and do the same thing with that just kind of dampen that uh, blurring effect right there all right so I'm gonna come in here last thing I'm gonna do is I want to bring this opacity down on this drone just a little bit so it's not so looks a little fake now like we just put it in there so I'm just gonna drop that opacity down just a little bit to about right there so that's about a 91 same thing with the propeller that's flying through the air uh, let's just go ahead and drop it more so something about right see how far we can go without 
about right there. Let's go with the drone. Let's see if we can drop that opacity down anymore. Right there. So let's go ahead and drop this down. So that's looking pretty okay. Um, let's see. Come up here and... That's the propeller. Come down here. I'm going to grab my brush tool and I just want to brush out some of this dark that's over here on these propellers. Good. <coughs> so I'm liking that pretty good right there. And there you have it. An explosion. Done composite photography style in Photoshop. Now, if you want the files so you can follow along and do your edit along with me, you can head on over to patreon.com forward slash pixels and grain, and you can become a member there and get all the files to all these video tutorials that I'm showing here on the YouTube. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you got some value out of this, which I hope you did. And subscribe to my channel if you want me, 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 more tutorials just like this. All right. So I had to slow that down just a little bit because my words were getting a little flubbed up. But I hope you found value out of this. Go and try it out with your own composites, your own photography. I'd love to hear how you do. And until next time, have a great day.